going on guys? Noah from Cooking Your Bass TV here with another video and this is the Mystery Tackle Box unboxing for the month of October. And before I even start this unboxing, I'd like to say a big special thanks to Mystery Tackle Box. I'm now on their pro staff. Um, they sent me a pretty sick shirt. Also have a pretty cool flat bill. And also something new that they're doing is the Mystery Tackle Box Pro, as you guys already know, most of you guys know. Um, and what the Mystery Tackle Box Pro is for you guys that don't know is it's pretty much it's, it's going to give you the full pack of baits. It's not going to be like sample packs as of the regular Mystery Tackle Box. You're going to get more baits. It's going to have more value packed in the box. And it's, um, it's going to be $10 extra a month, um, $10 more than this would normally be. Um, and you get the Pro Box and you get more baits and you get more baits in the packs as well, which is pretty neat. So let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing. Also, I'm thinking about doing a slam, which would be pretty cool. If I buy some time, guys, this weekend, it's going to be pretty packed for me. You guys are watching this Friday. So tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday is actually my state championship. And I will be fishing that alone um, on Lake Hartwell. And I'll be sure to get a lot of footage. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to vlog that as well. I'm sure you guys are going to love that. Um, and just big special thanks to you guys for giving me all the support on that. Um, but stay tuned for videos on that and stay tuned for updates on social media sites, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, but go ahead and jump into the first bait in the box that I picked up. And this is the Ugly Otter by Gambler Lures. And um, it's pretty much just a beaver style bait. And you can pretty much rig this as punching. You can rig it on a jig. You can rig it on a wobble head. Um, pretty much a shaky head. You can pretty much do anything with it. You can even rig it weightless if you would like. So it's similar to a beaver, um, except the tail's slightly different. And it's a darker color. It's pretty much like a green pumpkin, so it has some blackish into it. Um, so it's pretty much a dark color. It'd be good on those dirty water lakes, um, especially if you're going to be punched. I would definitely use that for punching. You could also use that as a jig trailer, like I said, or wobble head or shaky head, anything you would like. Um, these things are pretty, they, they smell pretty strong as well. Um, fish are going to hold on to it. Next bait in the box is the Biggie by River to Sea. And actually, Ishburn Road designed this bait. And this is pretty much just a shallow water square build crank bait. Um, it's pretty much clear. It's got a little bit of green on the top and it's kind of chromish tint to it. And this is pretty much um, only going to dive two to four foot. So I'm in mean, shallow water, guys. You know, say you're fishing that rip wrap. So you're fishing. That grass, so you're fishing that grass that's a little bit under the water. You're going to want to have some shad presentation going over the top of it. Definitely a great idea. You can throw this or you can throw like a rattle trap. But River to Sea, they're really impressing me with their product so far. Um, most of the River to Sea baits that I have are from Mystery Tackle Box. Um, they come in a lot of them, and this is just a really great value. And I've actually used a lot of their baits, and I've caught some good fish on them. I've actually bought some of their baits as well. Um, pretty decent. Moving on to the Shorty Jig. And what is this? And this is pretty much just like a standard jig head, except it's a little bit different. It's not going to be like your standard shaky head, wobble head, regular jig head on the market. Um, it's supposed to be pretty much snagless, and you're going to want to you're going to fish this through like trees, you're going to fish it through rock, timber, all, all kinds of stuff, brush piles, stuff like that. Um, and it's supposed to it's supposed to be more weedless, which is pretty. I mean, I've pretty much I haven't seen anything like this, and it's something new. Um, I don't know if it's going to definitely blow up and launch out everywhere because most of the jig heads that I use are just regular like screw lock shaky heads, stuff like that, but this is a little bit different. Um, and who knows, it might, it might get a big launch off and try it out sometime. This is the Optimum Baits, and this is their drop shot kick. And this is pretty cool. Um, it has a lot of drop shot baits in there, a lot of minnows. The minnows that I'm seeing in there on top they're actually really realistic. I really like them. I would definitely drop shot that. And I can guarantee you if you put that in front of a fish's face in the brush pile, he's going to eat it. Um, it comes with a regular um, regular hook and a circle drop shot weight, which I recommend. Um, they have those little stick drop shot weights, and then they have the regular ball drop shot weights. I recommend the ball. I feel as if they sink a little bit faster. I may be wrong, um, but I do like um, just the standard ball drop shot weights. And as you guys know, I drop shot a lot. Um, I think it's a really great way to catch fish, especially if the weather conditions are very tough. And as you guys know, I fished a tournament on Hartwell a while back. Um, I actually fished that one alone. That was a college and high school tournament. Um, I ended up winning that one. It was just on a drop shot. And it, it just shows you what it can do. And I believe I had about six, it was 15 something, close to 16 pounds. Um, just on a drop shot and ended up winning the tournament. I believe second place is like 10 pounds. And it was around 10 or 11 pounds. 
Um, drop shot just has a lot of potential, guys, and people really overlook it. And I would, I would definitely hop onto the drop shot. I have tons of videos on the drop shot on my channel if you'd like to go check them out. Um, but moving on, and this is pretty much just a regular built Carolina rig. Um, it's already designed and everything, so you just tie it on, tie it on to that swivel. You already got a Carolina rig already made, so um, pretty neat. Quick access, and that's everything in this month's box. And of course, you got the sticker, then you have the scratch off card that they started doing. You have the card where it gets your first box for $5, um, the Dimple Handbook, and then let's go ahead and overview everything that was in this month's box. So, starting off with the Biggie by River to Sea, and that was that little square bill crankbait right here on the dives two to four foot. Um, definitely great for that shallow riprap, that grass that you're going to be going over um, that's under the water. Moving on to the drop shot kit. And these baits in here are actually hand poured, um, very soft plastics. And it comes with a drop shot hook and a drop shot weight, so you're ready to go on um, the kit right there. And I'm um, sorry about that, that retails at $7.50. Then you're going on to the Ugly Otter, and that's a four pack, which is a sample pack that Gambler sells. And that is $2.68 for a four pack. Then you're moving on to the Shorty, the title shot. That was that jig head. Um, this is a little bit different that I've never really tried. Um, and for a two pack, it's four dollars and eighty nine cents. You're definitely getting your value for this month's box. And then moving on to the Carolina rig um, for just one of those, it's three dollars. But it's already pre made. Um, you don't have to go buy the weight and the beads and the swivels and everything's already made together. So you can just tie on. It's quick access. Um, pretty neat. So guys, that's everything in this month's box. Like I said, big special thanks to Mystery Tackle Box and a huge special thanks to you guys for all the support. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the unboxing, and if you have any ideas, leave them below. But um, please give the video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please go back, I'll leave the link below, and watch the pond vlog that I filmed on Tuesday, or actually filmed it on Monday. It published on last Tuesday, um, or this week's Tuesday. Um, so definitely go check that out if you haven't already. I know you guys love the Pond Vlogs. You've been asking for the Pond Vlogs. So I'm going to start trying to bring it back into the Kicking Their Bass TV videos. So um, please give the video a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. See you guys next time.